Hello everyone watching on YouTube and welcome back to Persona 5 Tactica. We gotta wipe out the Aizen squad. They've had it too good for too long and they must be stopped. We're already level 35, huh? Levels come at you fast, man. Oh, we're in a fight. That makes a lot of sense. I usually leave off between fights. Um... I wanna look at the... Nah, we don't gotta look at the Velvet Room. We don't need any of that nonsense. We don't need any of that. I was about to be like, let's reset the team, but actually uh, it looks like I already set this team last time because Haru, Makoto, and Arena are all low on energy. Hyper Gun Team, go! We got this. Is this a quest or a mission? Ooh, Lynn. You're on the track, Mom. Let's take him out. Sick music, love to hear it. This looks like a mission. What to do here? Up. Didn't we do a map very similar to this last time, I feel like? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yusuke, how far can you go this way? Okay, yeah, yeah. I cannot reach that fool over there, but I bet I can Augie allow him? No, I can't. I want to get this guy over here. Come here, you. I, I have a plan. I have a strategy. You're going to jump at me. You failed miserably because you're weak and pathetic. No one likes you. Up. Get you over here. You can't get as far over as I thought you could, Fox. Here's the... Hit you down, Moi Kai. We go up here and then give me a yeah follow up. That's what it's called. Get him, idiot, buffoon. He never stood a chance. Just looking at Streamlabs real quick. That looked a little loud on Streamlabs for a bit there. Whoop. Now, I don't think I can get a follow-up on you, but I can triple threat you into oblivion. Oh, cool. Let's get Joker way further over here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 no. die. All of you. All right. Bum, 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 bum. And then you gotta go, little buddy. Nice knowing you, but not really. Chat, is the game audio too loud? I'm turning down my headset a little bit. It looks really loud on Streamlabs is why I'm asking. Ow, my feelings. Wipe them out. Oh, we wiping them out, don't you worry, brother. He's stopping me from jumping, that coward. Hey, who do you think you are being right here? Can I get on back far enough to do a follow-up here? What to do here? It's possible? Nah, she's too far. Alas. Yeah, Yusuke ain't getting over there either. Alright, well, you you gotta go. Well, stop existing. You're stinky and I don't like you. And then for on? I dunno. Go away. This is my spot now. I called dips. Alright, chat says audio is fine, so you know what? I'll, I'll just choose to believe chat. How much would all you allow do to you? A lot, but not enough. Hey, Fox, how's it going? I'm just gonna hide up here. I can still Augie Loud you from here? That's awesome. Get Augie Loud, you fool. You're burned now, idiot. Stupid face. Oh, he mad. Do you think it was because I called him names? How am I gonna kill that little freak? Hey, don't go to battle. That's not cool of you. I believe the kids these days would call that cringe. Take them up. This music. Hey, you over there. Yeah, you. Oh, you have no uh, resistance there, huh? Hold up. 
Hold up a second. All right. This guitar is insane. Ah, oh, Joker can't reach him, dang it. Joker can reach you. I'll put them down. My turn. Did, did Fox just say he'll put them down? I don't love my options right here. Let's, Let's kill go. you. Okay, we're down one enemy. Now, I'm perfectly ready. And then what if I just like oh, gun? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Moi Kai. To do here. All right, Joker. That sounds good. Line us up. I'll cut them down. I think I'm just getting the one dude. No, I'm getting that big guy down there too. Yeah, this is worth. This is worth. Triple threat. Get him. All right. Well, now. This is the ladder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's Ega you. Get our scent. All right, this is, this is a good start for today. Get myself refreshed with the game mechanics I haven't played in like three days. Yeah, you can't get up here, stupid. Okay, you can hurt me, but you know, not much. I don't believe in mercy. We don't do mercy around these parts. What to do here? If I do Femme Fatale, I can probably get on far enough over here for a follow-up. Which might work. How much Phantom yeah, I was about to say I've been upgrading Phantom Judge, haven't I? It's not like uh high leveled up though yet. Hit me with Femme Fatale. Go you little freak. I still hate how animalistic they made Carmen look. It looks weird to me every time. Yeah, follow up, let's go. Get wrecked, idiot. Excuse me, you're still alive? That's illegal. You're not allowed to do that. I can shoot him from here, really? Gun? Get wrecked. Well, may as well. No more triple threat, but I just want to get close enough to hopefully, yeah, our sin. Oh, I can only do ambush. Shoots target that enters area and stops actions of any non-unique enemies, activates and... Oh, okay, I vaguely remember this. So if this guy moves, I'm just gonna stop him? He's already in the area, though. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's pretty sick. That's pretty cash money. I think I'm a believer in ambush now. We should probably get that on arena soon. Yo, level 36. Phantom Thieves leveling up. I have White Rider? I got White Rider last time? Hey, easy. We got Andres. Andres is uh, the owl man, isn't he? I think he is. them out but more reinforcements could show up at any moment we should retreat immediately yeah queen's right let's retreat joker we'll regroup at the hideout i don't know why we're retreating i've forgotten everything from last time oh hey we're here everything worked out man that was easy post banquet oh right we did the thing where we freed people from a labor camp or whatever by getting the enemy drunk i vaguely remember this This operation was a huge success, but I never would have guessed we'd run straight into Yoshiki. Oh? Hey, where's Toshiro? He went off on his own to think about things. Can't say I blame him. Mm. That raging weirdo turning out to be his father. No way he could just immediately accept it. Still. We should let him be for now, though we'll need to ask about the details later. But how does Excuse Yuki me. fit into all this? Now that I've had the opportunity to see you up close, I can see all of you are really quite skilled. My long-held hope to take down Yoshiki has never felt more real. 
Maybe we could have handled things a little smarter, though. It was a complete frenzy at the end. What about- Still, I'm glad it all turned out well. I wish I could have seen everyone's acting. How did things go with you? Uh, uh, well, it's all thanks to a heck of a performance by On. Uh, Her depiction right. of heavy drunkenness was a sight to behold. It was so authentic, I broke into a cold sweat. <laughs> oh, stop. All this praise is going to make me blush. Hmm. Actually, Lady On, I think they're being sarcastic. Oh, On, you sweet summer child. <laughs> How'd your group do? It seems like it'd be tough getting out of those out of trouble in those outfits. Uh, well, oh, ha, yeah. I don't quite remember everything that happened, but it was incredible, and Mako-chan's disguise was so gorgeous. Just looking at an Aizen Squad member would make their faces turn red and their knees shake. Their faces were red because they were drunk, and I'm pretty sure they were shaking for different reasons. Still, I'm relieved to hear of your success. <laughs> It's nice to know that Toshiro-san has such reliable allies beside him. Are you worried about Toshiro? She, this Yuki chick has also got to have a connection to Toshiro. I can feel it. Oh, excuse me. It's not that I'm concerned for him. She's like his childhood friend that fell in love with him, but then he got engaged to Marie or whatever. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. It's simply that at heart, I think Toshiro-san is a very kind person. Yes, that's right. He doesn't always seem the most reliable, but he certainly has the guts to do what's important when it's needed. Is that what you mean when you say he's kind? I think I might have to take a page out of his book for that one. <laughs> That's right, Arena-san. And whenever Toshiro-san seems like he might stray, please be sure to guide him back. Huh? Oh, uh, sure. If there's anything I can do for him, I will. Well then, everyone, thank you for your hard work. And please get some rest. After our break, let's sort out let's sort out what's happened up until now. I can read. We can do this. There's a lot we've learned. It's time to get started. Yo, 3GP. We got any quests, though? New quests for more GP? Wait, that was the quest button. I missed it. We sure have a lot. No Come quests! Rude. We could check out the Velvet Room. Let me look at skills. How are we looking on amounts? 33? You're definitely saving for something. Futaba's at 103. Holy cow. Uh, I'm going to get you... Wasn't I going to get you Maximum Phantom Judge to just make it worthwhile for you? We could also spend two on the or ten on this, I mean. Could do reduced damage while in cover to get to godlike speed faster, but honestly, I would rather just wait for Hawkeye for the increased range attack by one square, and then get godlike speed after that. I think I was also debating getting despair boost to make Aga and Meha do better overall. I don't care about Rakuku Kaja. That'll be the last thing we get. Right, I was thinking of getting Trump card, but Joker doesn't get below 50% often enough for me to think it's very worth it right now. Follow-up plus can be decent on a lot of characters, to be honest. I think I'm going to take Phantom Judge plus plus, so that way we have someone with a max power Phantom Judge, and then next I want to get Joker to godlike speed. So we'll probably go straight down this line next for Joker. Morgana is at 28? We don't really use Morgana much. But we can just give him godlike speed. Well, you know what? That'll be really helpful for when he, we do use him. He's like 8 movement now or something ridiculous. Arena and Honor at 23? I do use Femme Fatale every now and then. It's usually one of my go-tos because it lets On take another action, so I can kind of almost use it as like a double movement, like a movement extension. I think we're at the point now where I need to focus all of the girls on getting to godlike speed because they need the extra movement. Also, Magical Mastery will be really good for On, so let's get Soul Repose. And then Magical Mastery is really cheap, and then we could go with a cheap Ironclad Guard to get to godlike speed faster. But also, Stop and Go and Hawkeye would both be pretty decent. I think I'd actually care more about Stop and Go for On at that point. All right, and then Arena, that ambush skill 
is actually pretty cash money. Kind of tempted for it. We do also want her to get to godlike speed, though. Is the thing. We could also refund the healing thing. We don't use healing moves very often. Ambush is good. Give me ambush. The ambush skill set allows units to automatically shoot at enemies once they enter firing range. Ambushed enemies stop where they are without taking cover, allowing them to be down during your next turn. Use ambush in areas where you think the enemy will approach your units. And then ambush plus, as well as letting Arena be a follow-up character, could work out really nicely. To be honest. A lot of, a lot of good options. You are trying to get to 120. You are almost there. 17 away. All right. I think we're good, and I'm not going to worry about the Velvet Room right now, so we'll just do the mission. Continue the game. How are you liking the game so far? It's pretty fun. I'm having a good time. Tactica has uh, its been a worthwhile game thus far. It's fun. Thank goodness, because I was worried it would be bad. Okay, let's go over the situation. Wait, where's Yuki-san? Yuki-san went out into town. She wanted to check on the people we freed. She's quite kind-hearted, isn't she? We can tell her everything later. So, so sure. Will you tell us what's going on? Yes. Just as he said, Yoshiki is my father. Remember everything. He is Yoshiki Kasukabe, a current member of the Diet. Huh? Your old man's a politician too? He's a diet member who doesn't attract much attention, but he's had a long-standing career. I've heard he even has a reputation for consensus building within his party. Yes, some people call him Buddha Kasukabe, in admiration of his serene temperament. On the surface, that is. My father is obsessed with political power. Not being one for the spotlight, he tended to shy away from publicity why he sought to fulfill his desires by making me Prime Minister. When I was a child, he raised me very strictly. Not just academically. He drilled me on political etiquette and controlled my social interactions. If I failed to comply with his demands, he wouldn't hesitate to raise his hand against me. Even as a child, there were moments when I resented being born to such a family. You couldn't rebel? Yeah, couldn't you have just become the protagonist of like a JRPG and like changed your life or something like that? Like, it's not like it's hard or anything. Eagle, thank you for someone prime for seven months. Greatly appreciated. Thank you. My father's word was absolute. The thought of rebelling never even crossed my mind. Moreover, I had no one else to turn to. Uh, what about your mom? She didn't help you? My mother was very frail. She passed away when I was little. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. To be honest, I can barely remember her. <sighs> Never mind. It's nothing. Anyway, I eventually became a diet member by riding on my father's coattails. Even now, I simply do what my father tells me to do. That still hasn't changed. In my history, it's rather laughable that I could forget him. However, there's something I still don't understand. From Yoshiki's... From your father's perspective, you were always an obedient son. So, why was he so upset with you? He was so desperate to find you, that he even said you were a wanted criminal. He seemed awfully enraged about something you ran off with. What was that about? <laughs> My father actually is a criminal. Following Representative Shido's downfall, my father finally decided to take action. He laid the groundwork to ensure that I would be nominated as the Prime Minister. I don't really get this stuff, but is it really that easy to do? Not under normal circumstances. However, my father took advantage of the political turmoil that's been going on since last year. He employed shady characters to intimidate representatives he had dirt on. He also went about wheeling and dealing a large amount of Marie's family's financial resources. That's true. 
then he's guilty of extortion, blackmail, and bribery. All criminal offenses. And you're sure of this? And documents he forged, voice recordings, and other hard evidence as well. I had a hunch my father rigged the election, which is why I investigated. I still have the evidence which I secretly stole on hand. So, all you have to do is go public with that, and he can't control you anymore. I couldn't muster the courage to blow the whistle on him. My father's schemes were not out of the ordinary in the political world. Ending the political confusion with steady leadership was in everyone's best interest. This is what I kept telling myself. It's truly a shameful story. Yeah, just like, turn over a new leaf. You're exactly right. Not speaking up makes me equally guilty. I won't talk my way out of it. Well, setting that aside for now, I think I finally get the gist. What did, what did I get a memo about here? Oh, his dad again. Toshiro's father and an incumbent, in, incumbent, incumbent diet member? Though sometimes called Buddha Kasukabe, his real nature is the polar opposite. So great was his obsession with power that he resorted to black to, to black room to backroom criminal dealings. Toshiro was evidence of Yoshiki's crimes, but has yet to publicly indict his father, or has evidence rather. I, dude, I swear I can read. I promise. Yoshiki thinks you hid that evidence, so he's trying to get it back, right? No, I thought so too at first, but something still doesn't make sense. It's very unlikely that my father knows I stole the evidence of his crimes. First of all, he didn't show any signs of panic about his misdeeds potentially being exposed. Furthermore, I doubt the thought of me betraying him would have even crossed his mind. But why is he after you then? That's because... <sighs> it might be because I thought that he knew about it. The thought of my father questioning me about the evidence I stole fills me with terror. In other words, I think he knows because that's how I perceived it to be. This further supports my theory that we're actually in some mega palace that Toshiro's shadow is in charge of? So, if Toshiro's perception is reflected in Yoshiki, then that means... Uh, someone clue me in here. Then that means... This kingdom is born out of Toshiro's cognition. Are you saying this part of the metaverse is Toshiro's? Chat, did I or did I not call it? I believe that's the most pragmatic explanation. I should be the only one who knows I have the evidence, so it would all fit together. Although it could be possible that my father caught on to me in the real world. But the incident at the enemy base convinced me of my theory. All right, hit me with it. Let's hear it. The password. Oh, you mean the password you used to open the hidden door? Yeah, that was close. I still can't believe that door was actually giving me serious trouble. Oh, I get it. That was when 